Hey everyone, welcome back to Better Biomed. Today we are going to go out and check out a heating element. And I'm going to actually show you how you can determine if your heating element is good or bad. And there's a variety of different methods for doing so. So um, this element here is an actual used part that I was contracted out to go and replace because um, they wanted it changed out. But when I opened up the lid and I looked inside, I took a look at it and it was in a visually good condition. So if something's in a visually good condition, then I immediately am suspect. So um, right off the bat, heating elements are all on or all off. So that means on your device, if you look at the data sticker that's on the back, it'll tell you how many watts the device is expected to use or the amount of amps. And using that, you can go into Ohm's Law Calculator, which I have pulled up here. I'll leave a link to it in the video description. Ohm's Law Calculator, if you can't do the math yourself, will do the math for you. So this device here was a 120 volt device. It says that it burns 1000 watts. So let's go ahead and type that in. Voltage, let's do 120 volts. And you could put in current, you could put in resistance, or you can put in power. So power 1000 watts, according to its own data plate, and then click calculate, and it pulls up 14.4 ohms. So that should tell you right there. When I put my multimeter on ohms across this heating element, I should get close to 14.4 ohms. And this multimeter has got 15, no, I got 14.9. So 14.9, 14.4, potato, potato, it's almost the exact same thing. But there is yet another indicator on this specific heating element, although it would have been on the bottom. I see it's written right on there, 120 volt, 1000 watts. And using that information, I can also figure out what the ohms are on this part if this was sitting in a box on the shelf. So if you're ever gonna test a heating element on a device, disconnect one of your leads and you can leave the other side connected and then run your multimeter across both of your terminals, just like so. 15.2. All right guys, that's a quickie just to show you. You can use Ohm's Law to determine whether or not your heating element is good, I could have saved somebody a lot of money. This was misdiagnosed, just like a lot of other parts are in our industry. And that's why I'm here to encourage you guys to please do a better job. Thanks for watching, guys.